German metal quintet, the Oklahoma Kid, are back with a brand new album called Solo Ray on September 13th, 2019 via Rising Empire. What kind of music would you expect a band like the Oklahoma Kid to play? Chances are, it's probably not metalcore. Stupid name aside, after all, we're not here to talk about that. What we have here is an energetic metalcore release that ticks almost every box possible for the subgenre. It's so very metalcore that even the most passe of metal listeners could probably point it out for what it is. Of course, that could be seen as a negative, except the Oklahoma Kid's brand is so damn energetic, it's not impossible to not enjoy. From the moment Oasis slams down hard, it's clear the band are going to be going all out, and even the cleanly sung chorus can't halt this momentum. Momentum that continues into high stakes and shaking off the disease. The former punching with even more weight behind the groove, while the latter's use of electronica is pretty intriguing. What we have here is a showcase of modern sound, with a clean production that borders on too much at times, but with the layered effects it certainly benefits from it overall. It's thanks to that the destructive heaviness of Feed Me Fear works so damn well, and the spitting and snarling vocals add much to the overall feeling of aggression. What may surprise though are the moments where a band think outside the box. Take Doppelganger and its 7 plus minute length. That's surprising at the very least, but this is also one of the strongest tracks on the album. It moves at a blazing speed, the riffs fired off at a shockingly fast speed, and the only relief coming from a drop in the melody and clean singing. This could make it feel disjointed, but it actually works really, really well. The excitement as it builds back in a one last eruption is palatable. Back to short and heavy on electronic and metalcore with... Balaclava, Solar Ray and Monster, a trio of latter half tracks that do everything possible to knock the walls down if anyone is still resisting. Near the end of the album, it's to be expected that the energy throughout might not be sustained. And that's true to a point as Heart Down is a little less imaginative with an overuse of mournful electronica sitting in the background. Dreambender is very slow off the mark and never really goes anywhere, more of a lengthy intermission for the final track Trail Sign, which works to right the ship before it kind of capsizes completely. But to go out a bang, a slow build again, but the fiery vocals prepare things nicely for when it does really get going. It's a bit stop-start, but actually serves to make it more layered and more memorable. The latter half for Solar Ray isn't quite as strong as the first half, but it's still an exceptionally good metalcore release. The likes of Oasis, High Stakes, and Feed Me Fear, and Doppelganger are classy modern metalcore tracks. It's out on September 13th, 2019 via Rising Empire. Make sure you check this out. Let us know what you think in the comments, and hit that like and subscribe button.